Look guys, funding rate manipulations have been around in crypto for a very long time, but I have never seen it done to this extent. As in the past few weeks, BLZ, TRB, YGG, Cyber, Unify, so many coins have basically went to four, five, six hundred percent returns in a very short amount of time while having an extremely high funding rate and causing a lot of newbie crypto traders to lose money trying to trade these using RSI and normal technical analysis indicators. So in this video, I wanna give a quick overview of how funding rate works, how these market manipulations actually work, and how you can profitably trade some of these plays. So, all right, so before I go into the details of how this strategy works, it's crucial to take a second to understand what funding rate is. Funding rate plays a vital role in balancing the supply and demand when it comes to future contract prices. And the funding rate is essentially a fee that traders either pay or receive to hold their positions. And it depends whether you're longing or shorting. The direction of the payment depends on which side of the market the traders are on and whether the perpetual swap price is above or below the underlying assets price. And this is essentially a mechanism that is used to keep the price of the perpetual swap close to the price of the underlying assets. So when you are trading on futures and when you're trading spot markets, the prices are different. And this is a mechanism designed to keep these two prices aligned. Now, let's take a look at an example of how the market manipulation actually works in a six step process. So the first step is the manipulator is going to acquire a large portion of the token supply at a discount. They might simply accumulate when the prices are extremely low or they might directly purchase it from the, from the founding team of the project at a discount. Or thirdly, they might be simply market making for this project, essentially receiving almost free tokens to manipulate this. The second is that they are going to go on futures markets on Binance or Bybit and open a leveraged long position on this trade. What happens next is that they're going to start aggressively spot buying this asset. And what this is going to cause is that the price of the asset is slowly going to start to rise. As the price of this asset is being manipulated to the upside while it's rising, the manipulator is going to start earning significant profits on the perpetual long trade that they have opened. And what this creates is essentially additional revenue and profits on their side that they can reuse to basically keep fueling this rally to the upside by purchasing even more spot assets. And by creating these smart strategic buy and sell orders, they create a divergence between the spot and the perpetual prices to essentially run up this funding rate that I just mentioned to you before. And this means that the funding rate can go up to two and a half, three percent that is charged for people who are looking to short. No, novice traders are going to look at this chart thinking this is clearly manipulated and then they just jump into shorts way too early somewhere here already. And then what's going to end up happening is that they start paying this 2.5 percent funding fee to the fund or the manipulator who's actually longing this. So they are earning money on their spot positions because the price is going up they are earning money on their perpetual long bank that is going up also and appreciating in price and they are earning money on the funding rate that the shorts are paying to the longs in this case. And to show you an example of what this uh, divergence looks like into on, on TRB specifically, you can see the massive difference between the spot and the perpetual price right here on this chart. And the next step in here is most of the newbie traders who enter shorting in here are, more, I mean, most likely they are using very high leverage already. So they are paying a lot of fees uh, to the other side, to the long traders. And because of the high leverage, they are going to slowly start being squeezed out of their positions. Now, this is really how short squeezes happen. And in this case, you need to really think the opposite way of how you would be usually trading because the funding rate is going to be so expensive to hold the position short traders are going to start unbinding the position, especially in still in their best interest to keep squeezing the price to the upside because that's where most of the money is going to come in for them, right? So newbie traders are going to enter somewhere here in this trade, somewhere here, and they're going to likely just keep being squeezed up to the upside. Now, usually there's a price target for each of these and it's about 300 to 400% return 
from basically the bottom of the manipulation. And as soon as we reach this three, 400 person level, what usually happens is the manipulator starts to reverse its approach, which means they start shifting out of their long perpetual position and start closing it. The one that they opened basically, uh, sorry, they opened it right here. The long perpetual positions, they start unbinding these positions and then they slowly start entering into a short position on this side. So in this, this case, they are preparing their positions to profit as the price is starting to fall. And how are they going to make that happen? Well, guess what? They have a massive spot position that they use not only to run up the price previously, but also that they started to acquire already at a discounted price before the entire manipulation started to happen. So in this dump, what they're doing is they enter the short position. So as the price is going lower, they are profiting from that. And on top of that, they are unbinding their spot bags at a massive, uh, massive premium price as well already from their initial entry, often earning two, three, four hundred percent returns on that. So a manipulator in this case is essentially earning money on the spot bag, the funding rate, the perpetual long, and the perpetual long. Crazy, crazy manipulation. So the biggest mistake most people make is that they don't pay attention to the funding rate and they end up joining the long or the short trades very, very soon. One of the tools that I use to, to analyze and follow the funding rate is the Coinalyze platform. And in this case, I have the BLZ chart uh, pulled up. So I'm just gonna show you, this is one of the most recent examples that is basically happening right now. And in the case of BLZ, obviously the manipulation is somewhere around this 400 person level, three 400 person level currently. And you can see historically, this has been manipulated quite a few times already. And what you will see naturally on a play like this is increasing open interest, which means more contracts are opened on the futures platform and an a decrease in the funding rate. Now in this case, again, I mentioned before how funding rate works, when it's negative, you pay this to those who are longing at a point of 1.6%, sometimes even up to three, four percent from the short side to long. So it's really expensive to short and it's very, very high risk. In this case, my strategy to profit from this is the following. The first step is understanding that most of these rallies go maybe about two, three, four hundred percent maximum, which means I'm usually setting my profit target around those prices and expecting that unless those prices are reached, the risk reward ratio benefits actually longing, not only because you're able to earn the funding rate and instead of paying it, but also most likely the manipulation, as long as the funding rate and the open interest is not wiped out, actually favors being on the long side. So the first step is, do not short in way too early. Another way to find out how far these prices can go could be by using Fibonacci, which interestingly works fairly accurate when it comes to predicting the tops of some of these rallies. Now keep in mind, whenever you're using Fibonacci and you're looking for the golden ratio, which is technically what you use for finding long price targets, in this case, it actually aligns perfectly well with with this rally here. And this also aligns very well with historical highs on previous manipulation. Or in the case of TRB, we can even look at another Fibonacci sequence that we, we prepared here that also kind of aligns with the golden ratio at this 44 point level. So in this case, you can look at basically previous highs as potential profit taking points where they are looking to reverse it. And you can combine it basically with the Fibonacci sequence to benefit from this. So shorting in this kind of place is the more high risk approach. The best way to trade these is to look into longs when it's fairly early. And especially if you're able to monitor some of their wallets on chain, just like we do at Rose Street, then usually we can guess at least which one are the, some of those coins that are most likely to be the next ones to be manipulated. And that gives you obviously an early edge in terms of an entry, but that is the quick, simple version of how some of this manipulation works. And I hope this was useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message down there in the comments.